Okay, kids. Now here are the Rams. The Rams couldn't dodge me. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, they're happy. Uh, these are these are hefty units. I'll show you in a second how they uh, attach the shock towers. Obviously, two hydro lines, one uh, feed, and I guess one return. Um, yeah, I assume yeah one one return line or a uh, other line to pull it back. You you know what I'm there's. I don't really know hydraulics. Anyway, uh, here's the scale, and here's some washers, and there's this bar that I don't think I really need. So let's see if I theoretically assembled everything right back as it is, how much we would save. And, okay, add that one, add that one, add these, oh. All right, this is gonna take some more advanced weighing. Um, I'm gonna have to do a little delta weight, but let's see what those came out to 11. I don't know. I guess yeah, it feels just a little heavier than that. So we'll see. I'll delta weigh that in a second. But let's make a little estimate: 15, maybe 20 pounds. So to move on to the car, this video isn't working out so well so far. There are uh, the shock towers, the tops of them. Uh, cool bracing. I mean, geez, talk about beef. But uh, anyway. I guess it just acted on the whole assembly, as you can see, which is good, because I thought I might need some kind of fabbed up plate to hold the top of them. Turns out, no. And, as an interesting little note, to unscrew these from the top, I had to use a hammer on these, um, kind of look like, you know, suspension uh, height adjustment uh, rings or collars, so. Interesting times. Uh, I've got to be the only person without one of those tools, even though I feel like I should have one. Anyway, that's all for now. Uh, progress made. Now just to pump up those hydro lines and maybe go to the valves next. That's all for now.